What's up YouTube, Capital G here. We're talking Yang Zing in this video and asking the question, just how good can this deck be when Chao Feng is finally released? How good are Yang Zing actually gonna be when it comes to the competitive meta? Are they gonna get a significant boost by this card? Now, if you don't know what this monster is, this is gonna be their newest synchro that comes out in the next set, Crossover Souls. Uh, it's kind of a doozy. Now, personally, I've never thought that any of the Yang Zing synchros are bad. Um, they're sometimes a little difficult to make, but just overall, like they're all really, really good now Chao Feng isn't um it's not as offensively potent as the other two like Yazzie and Baxia you know Yazzie's kind of like a pseudo scrap dragon Baxia just spins cards back to your opponent's deck and whatnot Chao Feng is more of a defensive card it's more of a lockdown card but this card can literally be auto win against certain decks um uh, well, I'm not going to read the entire effect because uh, Chao Feng's effect is pretty long, but here's what you need to know. When it dies, it replaces itself by getting you a tuner, and it doesn't have to be a Yang Zing tuner. That's actually kind of important, which means that if you were essentially running John Lavelle's deck, this is actually his regional deck. Um, it was in Illinois. I believe he got seventh place. If, if you know anything about Illinois, like they don't have small regionals. That's Come on now, Chicago's like, um, I think, geographically the largest city in the United States, so Illinois doesn't have small events, and you can kind of see the makeup of his deck, it's just, actually, we'll just go into that a little later, but anyways, you see that actually, if you were playing TG um, Striker, as he was, kind of as like a tech option, if this guy died, and it's by card effect or by battle, and with 2800 attack, I'm not really sure you're going to be able to kill this thing, and by, I mean, by battle consistently, you get to search any tuner, and if any of your Yang Zings die while this guy is face up on the field, then you basically get to summon another Yang from your deck that is the same attribute as that Yang Zing. So if your opponent happens to kill your Suani, just get another Suani to the field and you can still activate Suani's effect, which means that you can get another Yang Zing. So it's kind of like this guy has Yang Zing uh, like creation kind of like built into him, but his lockdown effect is much more important. Anytime or when this card is special summoned, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters that have the same attributes as the monsters that were used to create Yang Xing Chao Feng. So uh, essentially, let's say that you have Jiao Tu, right? And you use its effect and you get um, this guy's shadow and then you get a Bixi. Okay, well, if my math is right, two stars, seven stars, nine stars. Okay, so you basically summon it. So that would mean that if you're playing against Necroz and you do that turn one, your opponent cannot activate the effects of any water monsters or any dark monsters. And considering water is basically the entire deck, I mean, <laughs> like that doesn't seem like they're going to be in a good position. They can't Tristula you. They can't Ganeer you. They can't use um, Decisive Armor and blow up your back row. It's a really, really good card. Let's say you're playing against Shadows and you do the same exact um, play. Okay, well, you can't use any other effects of Dark Monsters. So that means none of the Shadow Monsters. And that's probably about half of your deck. So anytime that you summon this guy considering the tuners in this deck are light and dark i'm gonna say the effect's gonna be pretty relevant because light and dark is what this game is pretty much built around i mean shutting down light means shutting down uh, sir teller knights and the star serefs and shutting down dark means shutting down burning abyss and shadow so obviously you can drop this card turn one you can just use jatu and jatu can literally just set you up and i think that it is a card where I don't even think it requires that much protection. And I say that because Chao Fang is big as fuck. 2800 means your opponent is going to have to bring out the boomstick to kill this card. Is I mean, if they plan on killing it with a monster anyway. And if you're playing against a deck like Dolls or Sir Teller Knights, and you use Chi Win or Jatsu, which 99% of the time is how you're going to summon this guy. I mean, imagine summoning this using Chi Win against Teller Knights. So now you can't use Vega's effect. Now you can't use Altier's effect. You can't go into those easy rank fours and you know, cast on my dude or 101 my dude. Now you have to summon a guy, hope that it lives. Maybe you have call of the haunted. Like it's so much, there's so many hoops to jump through at that point. Now, I don't think that it's going to make the deck like more aggressive. I think it's just going to give the deck
deck a little more stun ability that it didn't have before. But I think for the most part, you're still going to see Yang Zing play kind of like completely anti-meta. If you look at this deck, this is a very good build. And you see, he, he just has, even though he doesn't have any battle traps or any like spot on removal traps like Ring of Destruction, Evac Bottomless. And for the most part, you don't really need battle traps in Yang Zing. Yang Zing is kind of like Burning Abyss. You kind of want your monsters to die, especially to battle, because that means that they're absorbing attacks. And since all of these guys can get other guys, it's really not that big of a deal. And then if you have creation, you start going plus. But for the most part, you see this deck running a whole bunch of cards that are just kind of annoying that not only slow your opponent down, but can potentially lock them down as well. And some things that I didn't even think about, you know, he's got Necro Valley and Black Garden, obviously mistakes. And I mean, these are really good. Necro Valley is great against Teller Knights. It's great against uh, Necros because you can't get your spells back from the graveyard. You can't activate Valkyrish. You can't use Unicorn. If you're playing against Teller Knights, there'll be no Call of the Haunted, no Oasis, no Altier. And that's that's a pretty big amount of the deck. You, uh, well, obviously, it, well, you could play it after Trevor's on the field, and then if you kill Trevor, they won't be able to get a Teller Knight. And then Mistake, we just, we know that card is freaking good against everything. Black Garden was a card I didn't even think about. It's just, Black Garden is one of the most annoying cards in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And what's crazy about this deck is, I didn't even think about it. You can really abuse Black Garden in this deck because, keep in mind, all of those tokens... They all, they're all level two, which means that you can use like Jatu and then you can go into like Herald of the Arc Light. That card is amazing in this deck. So let's say you do that and then your opponent top decks like an MST for your Black Garden. Uh, just launch Herald of the Arc Light or, you know, your opponent tries to use a powerful spell or they try and use a good monster effect and you can just launch Herald of the Arc Light, which is actually quite amazing in this deck, especially when you make it using um, like Beyond and Chi Win because then it can't be destroyed by battle. The card is definitely crazy. So let me know what you guys think of Yang Zing. Do you think that they're going to get better? I think that for the most part, Again, they'll get a little more stun ability. I think that they'll still need to run crazy, crazy, uh, just kind of lock cards and disruptive cards to kind of keep up with the meta. And I think that these cards will change based on whatever the meta is. You know, if Sir Teller Knights or Shadow start becoming better than Necros, you may see the Necro Valley change into something else. You know what I mean? But I think that um, Yang Zings are definitely a good deck. And I've actually seen this deck outgrind Necros because, you know, you... I get you attack the wrong monster. They flip over Yang Zing creation. Next thing you know, your opponent has like two more monsters on board. They ram into your guy and it's like, holy fuck, where you just had four. You just got four monsters in like the span of a turn if they have like a Chi Win in the graveyard. So it's a deck that can grind crazy, crazy hard. The deck reminds me a lot of Burning Abyss and its ability to just constantly, you know, recover after monsters get killed, especially with three path, which is it. Honestly, it's the only conflict that I see with Necro Valley, but it's, it's only a one of so it's not even worth mentioning. So thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribing makes life happy.